Whoa. <laughs> the tower. Looks like there's been a breakup, a separation. There was a tower moment here. Okay. Some truth was realized. Something came crashing down. Something that was built on a faulty foundation or a crooked foundation. All right. So, yeah. The universe did what they had to do. Because you weren't listening, you weren't being able to look at the red flags, or probably you were looking at the red flags and still ignoring the reality of the situation. So yeah, looks like a breakup or a separation here. Something that was, it was long due. Okay, what else? What else? Justice in reverse, yeah? things weren't fair here, right? Something wasn't fair here, something wasn't balanced. The person that you're dealing with, right? It's like, you know what? This person out here, they knew they weren't doing things fair by you, okay? They were not making a fair decision out here, you know, and um, you, you were just treated unfairly, okay? Things were not fair out here. I think you could you could have been experiencing a lot of irritability, okay, because your partner was not contributing fairly to the relationship. It's the same thing, right? But like, yeah, could be lying, cheating, could be a divorce, could be a separation. Tell me more about Capricorn. Judgment in reverse. Yeah, see, this person seemed to repeat the same mistakes over and over and over again. Okay, this person keeps doing the same thing, or you could be doing the same thing in this relationship over and over again, but expecting different results out here. Okay, so yeah, I think this person out here was probably, um, you know, postponing even making a decision out here. Okay, because of a lot of self doubt, a lot of negative self talk, okay, which was stopping them from pursuing this relationship out here. I think this person could also be fearing the future, you know, and they had a hard time uh, letting go of something in the past, okay, which is why they kept repeating a pattern out here, which is not healthy for you and them both. Tell me more for Capricorn. There's a lack of decision here. The world, see, unfinished business out here. Someone got cut off abruptly. The relationship came to an end out of nowhere, okay? You didn't get time to probably just understand what really was going on or they didn't. But yeah, something's unfinished out here. Something just came to an end abruptly here because someone was having, you know, someone was making it very difficult for the other person to love them, okay? This was a situation that was draining you out emotionally rather than making you happy here. So, yeah. Silent treatment. Silent treatment. There's a lot of confusion here. A lot of confusion. I think you people are daydreaming or this person is daydreaming about you, right? But they're not reaching out to you as yet. They're still procrastinating. They're, they probably feel there's a lot of time that they have to come towards you. So, you know, they're just probably putting, putting things in the back burner here. But they think about you. They miss you. They have a lot of emotions for you. But they're just choosing to stay quiet. They're just choosing not to open up. They're probably their intuition is guiding them to. You know, their intuition is guiding them to keep quiet. Or this could be you giving them the silent treatment. More work Five of Wands. <clears throat> there could be a lot of arguments, conflicts. You know, you both probably are not on the same page. Too many people involved here. Too much of drama, chaos, competition between you guys. But a lot of inner confusion also. I think you guys were just like, you know, struggling to be with each other here. Because it's like, you know, you guys talk and you'll just start a fight here. Like just finding it so hard and so difficult to be with together, you know, uh, <clears throat> to be on the same page. I think you both were standing up for what was important to you both, you know, but not like a collective, you know, a lot of difficulty moving forward in this connection yeah? because you both were pro always like, you know, like oppositions, you know, clashing personalities is what I'm getting. What else for Capricorn? What else for Capricorn? The magician. Someone's wanting to manifest you. I think there's someone here, you know, who's, who's, tr who was trying to stay away from you all this while. But there's somebody who's trying to manifest you back. Could be you manifesting them directly, indirectly, or could be them manifesting you. But I think we have the masculine and the feminine here. So the masculine out here, whoever's the masculine is trying to, 
uh, yeah, so you, this could be you with the high priestess. So you're the ones giving them the silent treatment. You know, I think you have a lot of love and emotions for this person here. But you're trying to balance out your logic and your emotions out here. Okay. And you're trying to stay very close to off. You're trusting your intuition. You're probably a psychic guidance or probably you're watching tarot, you know, or uh, there's just this universe giving you signals to just hold back, not to do anything about it. And probably, you know, the universe is working something out for you behind the scenes. But if right now, your intuition is telling you to just stay put and not do anything because you're doing this right because you're letting go of any kind of attachments out here you know because you're closed off and staying keeping things to yourself not you know impulsive etc that's why the masculine is trying to manifest you back they're in this full-blown manifestation mode this person out here wants you back and they're hell-bent on manifesting you back so they're not talking to you they're not telling you anything but this is what's going on behind the scenes that's what they're doing they want you back they feel they're now ready and they have everything that they need in order to get you back or make this work out because they know it's unfinished business out here. And the tower was like something that they had like a huge epiphany or a huge realization here that they weren't fair with you at all. And they want to make things right. Over the judgment and reverse here, I feel this person fears making a decision. You know, they're very indecisive due to fear. What, uh, tell me more for Capricorn. Tell me more for Capricorn. Eight of Cups, but you're walking away. You're walking away. You're trying to stay emotionally detached. Okay, probably very focused on your money, your career or goals. But I think you're trying to find the emotional strength to walk away from a relationship that didn't make you happy or that doesn't serve you. Probably you want commitment, stability from a person, you know, because the magician usually is not someone, right, who is into commitment and stability. This person likes to be single on their own, you know, and they have a lot of confidence, you know, and they're very confident that they can just waltz back into your life whenever they want. And that's the kind of person you're walking away from. Yeah, see, because this person is procrastinating. That's what the biggest fuck up is here. This person keeps procrastinating. This person is losing opportunities. Or there's just a lot of missed opportunities here because this is what they want. But they're, they'd rather prefer manifesting you rather than come towards you and give you an offer and, you know, work it out, which would be a little more easier, a little more quicker. But with the magician here, I feel this person's just thinking about you. They're doing a lot of affirmations, a lot of positivity, etc. Keeping a positive mindset, you know, and trying to focus on their work and career, their goals while manifesting you, you know, that's what they're doing. But they choose not to talk to you and keep to themselves and they'll just silently manifest you. So if you think this person's not interested in you, you think it's over, bullshit. It's not over. You think they don't love you, bullshit. They love you. Okay. They have a realization here, but the judgment in reverse is something that scares them. Okay, let's see. Why is this decision not being made? All right, what's the um, tower here? What's the tower here? So I think that five of wands is that inner confusion. Yeah. This person here has had a huge realization that they are no longer okay being on their own here. This person probably is someone here who was enjoying uh, being the center of attraction. They were enjoying their money. They were enjoying their career. You know, they had like big financial goals and, you know, they were like, you know, in that place, abundant place where they were like, I'm OK. I don't need anyone here. And maybe they waited to tell you that they don't want to be in a relationship or they don't want to be in a commitment unless and until you were too invested into them. You would it was too late. OK, and that's when they probably you probably realize that, well, you know, guess what? This person does not just want to be in a relationship. Okay. What's the justice in reverse? Which is why things were unfair and now things are on hold here. This person is trying to get some knowledge. Okay, they're trying to get some spiritual guidance here, which is why they're keeping things on hold. So there is a temporary sacrifice that you will have to make or they will have to make in order to gain some knowledge. But this sacrifice, after a while, you will realize when you look back, you'll see that this is a blessing in disguise. Because see, the, I, didn't I tell, tell you that, that the universe was giving you signals over and over again, but you refused to see the red flags here. You kept on going on. And this is what the universe wanted to do. They wanted you to step, um, to step down, pause, reflect. Okay, keep things on hold, you know, just wait, see where this is going. But you weren't. So now um, it's like a forceful halt that's coming to your life or their life. Judgment in reverse. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, see, this person out here is indecisive. Uh, I think this is you who's been putting in all the work and effort all this while here. You've been putting 150% into this relationship. You did all this while and now you're like, you know what? I'm, I, I'm not getting the results of my hard work here. Or this could be this person here who's still not sure if they should put in their entire hard work here. Will they still get what they want? 
you know, will you be able to reciprocate the same after whatever's happened between you both? Okay. What's the world in reverse? They're not confident enough to open up right now. This is why things were unfinished because this person still has a lot to tell you. They still have a lot of emotions for you, but they're having a very hard time expressing themselves. You know, so much procrastination from this person's side. This person deep down knows what you mean to them. But when it comes to opening up to you, right, they're not the best at expressing themselves. Uh, you know, um, something's stopping this person, you know, they're not following their heart. They're still following their head here. Probably low self-esteem or they're just finding it very difficult to communicate their feelings to you. Okay, they need more time to think ahead. You know, they need to make up their mind what to do next. Okay. So that they don't just end up with a very unwelcome outcome. <laughs> Where it's like, yeah, hey, I love you. You're like, well, I don't. So what's the high priestess? Wow. So you're giving them the silent treatment and you're ready to move forward. You're not waiting for them. You're not waiting for them. You're just ready to leave. In fact, you're probably just manifest. You're just like, you know what, that's it, over and done. And you're ready to leave. I don't think you're waiting for this person. You could have waited for this person for a very long time. They put you on hold for the longest and you're like, I'm done. Yeah, you're moving forward here. What's the five of wands? So, there's a lack of reconciliation. There's a lack of coming together here. Either there was a third party situation here. A third person was intruding in your relationship. Or this person was constantly friend zoning you. And um, you didn't want friend zoning. You wanted a relationship or you wanted commitment here. But the three of cups in reverse can also tell me that uh, there could be someone who cheated. Okay. There could have been cheating involved here. Someone left you for someone else. Or you left them for someone else. Take it how it resonates here. But um, yeah, that's what I'm getting. Maybe this person made you fight for them. You know, maybe there was too much competition here. They put you in options here. And you're like, I'm not an option out here. I'm the one. So either it's me or it's, you know, it's the one. What's the magician here? What is the manifesting? The moon in reverse. This person is now finally, you know. So when you're trying to manifest something, right, the first thing that you need to let go of is fear. You need to let go of the fear of the outcome. You need to let go of the fear, uh, stress and anxiety of when will it work out? How will it work out? You know, like a lot of what, when, where, how, why. That's what you need to let go. That's what they're doing. They're releasing the fear, stress, anxiety that is related to this outcome. And they're like, you know what? I got to do this. I'm going to do it. But without taking the action here, they're only relying on manifestations, only relying on that uh, willpower and, uh, you know, a lot of that uh, self-confidence. But where's the action? Eight of Cups, what's that? Yeah. What's the eight of cups? Yeah, this person here is walking towards you back. They're 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 finding the emotional strength to walk towards you. So I'm getting that this person was in their comfort zone all this while. Okay. And they weren't ready to move out of their comfort zone. Now they're ready to move towards their, out of their comfort zone, wanting to move towards their ten of cups, wanting to move towards their happiness. And they don't want to let this end here. But you know what the problem is here? This person is still not changed. They still haven't changed here. That's something you need to keep in mind. I know it's like, like it's like something you don't want to hear. But that's what the truth is. This person is still resisting change. The change that this person needs to make, they need to rewrap themselves. Themselves. They need to transform themselves. Okay, very significantly. You know, it has to be like something where you know they're moving on from something, making a very smooth transition into us into the next chapter, into the next chapter of their life with you. Okay, but um, they're just feeling stuck. You know, they're unable to adapt or deal with the major changes that they need to go through, whether which is going to push them out of their comfort zone here. So they're finding the strength to come towards you. OK, but they're still holding on to something that does not serve them or which is not for their highest good out here. OK, which is resisting changes that will change their life completely. You know, although they wish they wouldn't have to let it go, but they got to. But the thing is that they're still coming back towards you with that same energy out here. OK, not willing to change, not willing to get, you know, let go of something that 
is just unhealthy for them. Page of Pentacles in Reverse, what's that? With the King of Pentacles in Reverse. Yeah, see, the procrastination, that's why the procrastination is there because baby, this person is not ready to commit. They're not ready to give you what you want. That's why they're not sure. So you know what I'm getting here? This person wants to come towards you. They can't let you go, etc. They know they fucked up. They know they haven't given you the commitment that they need. So they can't even let you go. But then they won't even come to you. They want to manifest you. So they'd rather not talk to you and manifest you silently in a way to probably pull you towards them here. But they don't realize that you're walking away. You're moving forward here because they can't give you the commitment yet, right? They're still not ready for that. They're still, you know, very, that, very ungrounded here. You know, still lacking that sense of um, stability and security. They can't give you that yet. Okay. And they have like this whole self-centered point of view. Okay. And they don't really uh, view other people's uh, feelings as much. Okay. So this person out here is not ready to give you what you want yet, which is why they're not communicating with you. And they probably feel that if they communicate with you and you just shut them off, it's like when you didn't want to commit to me, why have you come back? So they don't want that to happen, which is why they keep going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth with a decision yeah they still won't let you go they won't let you go they won't let you end they won't let it end but they won't even communicate about it yeah that's what i have okay i uh, hope this reading resonates and uh, i'll see you next time bye bye